For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do these two problems that says express F1, F2 and F3 as Cartesian and then determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measure counterclockwise from the positive x-axis which is this one so let's start with F1 F1 is equal to 850 times 4 over 5 that's in the positive minus 850 times 3 over 5 this is in the i and this is in the j direction when you solve this you're gonna get that this is equal to 680 in the i univector direction minus 510 in the negative j univector direction so that's f1 now let's do f2 f2 is negative 625 times the sine of 30 in the i univector direction minus 625 cosine of 30 in the negative j univector direction when you solve this you're gonna get that this is equal to negative 312.5 in the i univector direction minus 541.27 in the negative j univector direction now f3 is equal to negative 750 cosine of 45 degrees because this is also 45 degrees negative 750 cosine of 45 degrees in the i univector direction plus 750 sine of 45 degrees in the j univector direction when you solve this you should get that this is equal to negative 530.33 in the i univector direction plus the same thing 33 in the j univector direction because cosine and sine of 45 are the same thing to calculate the resultant force you add all the x components with the x components and add the y components with the y components when you do so you're gonna get that the resultant force is equal to one negative 162.5 in the i univector direction minus 520.94 there's a point there in the j direction to get the magnitude and convert this to polar form you're gonna do the square root of 162.5 square plus 520.94 square when you solve this in your calculator you're gonna get that the resultant force has a magnitude of 540 5.7 newtons this is the magnitude of the resultant force and to calculate the angle theta now let's look at it for one second before we calculate the angle it's in the negative 162 negative 520 so the answer is going to be like that and like that okay imagine this is straight we're calculating this angle Calculating this angle is as easy as doing the tangent inverse of the y 520.94 over the x component which is 162.5 and this is equal to 
72.68 but they want the angle measured from the positive x so this is the angle they want so you know that this is 180 and you know this angle 72.68 so all you got to do is add 180 and you get 252.67 degrees and the magnitude is 545.7 the answer makes sense because as you can see this force and this force more or less cancel out but this force still pulling to the left a bit and this two forces going down and one force going up so the resultant force is going to be a force aiming this way our answer makes sense final answer